Dubai. But we'll start off with the news. Do endeavor to watch us if you're already on the move. Uh, on our social media handles, our verified GTV Ghana handle. And on DSTV, wherever you are in the world, you can get us on channel 278. We'll take you to Parliament. We'll do education, health. Uh, we'll do some conflict issues and we'll do the international news. Let's start off from Parliament, where the House has unanimously approved Justice Gertrude Tokonu as new Chief Justice, presented the report of the Appointments Committee on her vetting. The chairperson, Mr. Joseph Osewusu, said the committee had come to a consensus for her approval. He also said Justice Tokonu is competent and has shown character to fill the position. Members of the House then urged the new CJ to discharge her duties without fear or favour. Justice Gertrude Tokonu is the third woman to serve in the high office of Chief Justice of the Republic after Justice Georgina Theodora Wood and Justice Sophia Kufu. The committee, after considering the nominee in public, came to the conclusion that she showed character, competence and dexterity in the knowledge of the law. She pledged to interpret the law without fear or favor if approved as the Chief Justice of the Republic of Ghana. Mr. Speaker, legacy of her as Chief Justice, I, I, I believe she will. I'm very confident that she would improve upon the e-justice system and ensure the speedy adjudication of cases. But Mr. Speaker, again, the Supreme Court is not above our criticisms in this House. How come that in some cases they act with alacrity and speed, and in some cases they are not? You have to come to it illegally. Our matter is still pending in court. We want to know, was Parliament properly constituted? They cannot be acting, selecting and choosing which matters they must act with speed. No, that does not assure us of confidence in the judicial system, and in a judicial system that must be independent and act expeditiously on matters affecting all of us. Let's all support her and wish her well, but she should discharge her duties without fear or favor, nor political influence, and uphold her judicial oath. In this house, it looks like when a decision is given by a court and it favors one side, we praise the decision. When a decision is given and condemns it is not in favor of one half, we condemn. We must not be conclusive to say that the judiciary is biased. And we must not be using expensive ways towards the judiciary. From time to time, when I disagree with them, I call them individually and I have discussion with them. And they try to explain the, 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 the viewpoint that they've taken. Whether I agree or disagree, that is a different matter altogether. But please, publicly coming out, running at them, should be discouraged. With this, I put the question. Those in favor, say aye. aye. Those against, say no. The eyes have it, and the house has accordingly